so uh, here we have given these values this is the consumption function investment government expenditure transfer payments and this is the tax rate and the question is that we need to calculate the equilibrium level of income and the multiplier in this model so first let's calculate the equilibrium level of income we will write at equilibrium we know that at equilibrium y equals to ad right in the next step we will write y equals to what is aggregate demand it is consumption plus investment plus government expenditure plus net exports next step y equals to what is consumption consumption function is given as 50 plus 0.8 yd so we will write 50 plus 0.8 yd yd is disposable income plus investment is given as 70 so we will write 70 plus government expenditure it is given as 200 so we will write 200 plus net exports net exports is not given so we will assume it as zero next step y equals to 50 plus 70 it's 120 120 plus 200 it is 320 plus 0.8 yd disposable income is equal to y minus taxes plus transfers right next step y equals to 320 plus 0.8 y minus taxes so here we have given this tax rate which is 0.2 so we will write 0.2 y plus the transfer payments which is given as 100 so we will write 100 next step y equals to 320 plus this will become 0.8y so 0.8y times 0.8 it is 0.64y plus 0.8 times 100 which is 80 next step y minus 0.64y will become 0.36y equal to 320 plus 80 it is 400 next step y equals to 400 upon 0.36 and this will become okay so this is your equilibrium level of income clear now we need to calculate the multiplier so multiplier denoted by alpha it will be equal to 1 upon 1 minus 1 minus t okay now 1 upon 1 minus this this is given as 0 0.8 denoted by small c mpc out of disposable income it is given as 0 0.8 so we will write 0 0.8 and we know the tax rate is given as 0 0.2 so we will write 0 0.2 1 upon 1 minus 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 which is 0 0.64 1 upon 0.36 and its value will be 2.78 okay so we have also calculated the value of multiplier which is 2.78 next question calculate also the budget surplus so it's simple we know that budget surplus equals to the tax revenue of the government minus the expenditure made by the government which includes the government expenditure and the transfer payments okay taxes is given as a proportional taxes in our question so we will write tax rate times by minus government expenditure minus the transfer payments 
tax rate is given as 0.2 and the equilibrium level of income we have already calculated in the first part as this one government expenditure is given as 200 and the transfer payments is 100 so we will write minus 200 minus 100 this will become okay minus this is 300 and the final answer is minus this will become okay so your answer is in negative we will say that the budget is in deficit next part suppose that tax rate increases to 0.25 what is the new equilibrium income and the new multiplier we know that at equilibrium y equals to ad right in the next step we can write y equals to aggregate demand is consumption plus investment plus government expenditure plus net exports next step y equals to consumption function is given as 50 plus 0.8 yd plus investment is given as 70 okay 70 and government expenditure is 200 net exports is not given in the question so we will assume its value as 0 next y equals to 50 plus 70 it's 120 plus 200 320 plus 0.8 disposable income is y minus taxes so taxes has been increased tax rate is increased to 0.25 so we will write 0.25 y plus the transfer payments which is 100 so we will write 100 next step y equals to 320 plus this is 0.75 y so 0.75 y times 0.8 it will become 0.6 y plus 80 plus 80 next step y minus 0.6 y will become 0.4 y and 320 plus 80 it is 400 next step y equals to 400 divided by 0.4 which is equal to 1000 so the new equilibrium level of income is 1000 clear now we need to calculate the new multiplier so if i am talking about new multiplier let's take it as alpha dash formula we know 1 upon 1 minus c 1 minus t okay this is given in the question as 0.8 mpc out of disposable income so we will write 0 0.8 and the tax rate is increased to 2 uh, is increased to 0.25 right so this will become and this is 0 0.75 0 0.75 times 0 0.8 it's 0 0.6 1 upon 0 0.4 which is equal to 2.5 so earlier our multiplier was 2.7 2.78 and now its value has been reduced to 2.5 next part calculate the change in budget surplus would you expect the change in the surplus to be more or less if mpc is 0.9 rather than 0.8 okay so let's first calculate the change in budget surplus change in budget surplus okay that means uh, first we need to calculate the new budget surplus that is bs dash which is equal to t y dash minus government purchase of goods and services minus the transfer payments the new tax rate we know it is 0.25 and the new equilibrium income was 1000 
government expenditure government expenditure is 200 and transfer payments is 100 so we'll write 200 minus 100 this will be 250 minus this is 300 so the new budget surplus is minus 50 okay now we need to calculate the change in budget surplus it will be the new budget surplus bs dash minus the old one okay so it is minus 50 minus the initial budget surplus was if we see the initial budget surplus was minus 77.78 when the tax rate was 0.2 and this was the initial equilibrium income so it is minus 77.78 minus 77.78 it will be equal to minus 50 plus 77.78 and the final answer is 27.78 this is the change in budget surplus 27.78 fine now he is asking that would you expect the change in the surplus to be more or less if MPC is 0.9 rather than 0.8 C there is a simple explanation for this if MPC increases that means from 0.8 to 0.9 then this will lead to an increase in the value of multiplier right and what is multiplier multiplier is alpha equals to 1 upon 1 minus 1 minus t right so if MPC increases, then the value of multiplier will be increased, right? Next, if multiplier is increased, then the equilibrium output or equilibrium income, equilibrium output or you can say equilibrium income, it will be increased okay basically y equal to alpha times a bar okay next if equilibrium output is increased then the tax revenue will be increased right what is the tax revenue it is this one okay so if y is increased then the tax revenue will be increased and if tax revenue is increased then budget surplus will also be increased because budget surplus is this one right so if this value is increased then the overall budget surplus will also be increased so i think we have uh, find out the solution of this question they were asking that would you expect the change in but the change in surplus to be more or less if mpc is 0.9 rather than 0.8 so yes the change in surplus will be more budget surplus will be increased next part can you explain why the multiplier is 1 when tax rate is 1 okay if the income tax rate is 1 that means that all income is taxed 100% of income is taxed which means there is no induced spending and equilibrium income will always increase by exactly the change in autonomous spending in other words the size of the expenditure multiplier is 1 let's understand its meaning what is trying to say 
we know that at equilibrium y equals to aggregate demand right next step y equals to c plus i plus g okay what is consumption function c bar plus mpc times disposable income plus i bar plus g bar okay next step c bar plus and this disposable income will be y minus ty plus tr bar plus i bar plus g bar next step c bar plus this y minus this is 1 times y plus tr bar plus i bar plus g bar next step c bar plus this y minus y becomes 0 so this will become okay this is why this this term this complete term will be a bar so y equals to a bar y equals to a bar or i can write it as one times a bar this one is the value of multiplier which is this one the tax rate was one okay so i hope that i have given you the solution of this question that uh, basically he was asking why the why the multiplier is one when tax rate is one clear thank you